do you want your sim in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 to run this smooth at big airports like MK Studios, LaGuardia, Anybuilds Heathrow and Anybuilds JFK? Well, in this video, I'll be taking you through my settings to get the sim to run as smooth as it does on my system. Now a little disclaimer, what works on my system may not work on yours. I've done extensive research into what makes Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 click and I have got it running very well on my system Sim Update 4 Beta. Uh, I use the Phoenix, the iFly 737 Max 8, the PMDG 777, the Inibuilds A340 and A350 and all of my sceneries that can convert or the enhanced versions into Microsoft Flight Simulator and I'm getting very very steady performance at all airports in all situations. I did a flight last night from LA over to New York with Inibuilds both sceneries for LA and JFK which are the heaviest sceneries that you can purchase on the market and I flew in the Phoenix A321 and I had a stable 50 FPS which I've capped it at for the entirety of my flight even when landing into New York so my specs uh, my CPU is a Ryzen 7 9800X3D 8 core I'm running a RTX 5080 uh, Windows 11 home I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM uh, I'm using the MSI Pro B850S Wi-Fi 6E as my motherboard as well. Uh, so, as you can tell, it's quite a beefy system. Uh, it's my new computer that I built uh, a couple of weeks ago and you've been seeing on the channel. Now, a lot of what I will say has come over from my experience with my uh, less powerful PC. I run a 3060 Ti on that one and I've used the same tricks to get the maximum amount of performance out of this sim as possible. Now with sim update 4 just around the corner and the final build of that being released I'm sure that a lot of my problems will be fixed however since I've uh, configured the sim uh, the way I have I've had no trouble and it's been an actually really nice experience in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Right, so in the settings menu, I've got my graphics setting set to TAA with 1920x1080p for my monitor. I've got my render scaling at 100 and my AMD uh, sharpening at 100. I cap my frames 50 and use the built-in NVIDIA DLSS times 2 to get it up to 100. Right, so let's talk a little bit about my other setting as well. So the train level of detail is set to 100. I know it says 400 there, but I am running auto FPS. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Off uh, screen terrain pre caching is ultra. We've got displaced mapping, buildings are high, trees are high, plants are medium, rocks are medium, grass is low. Uh, the level of detail is lower at the moment. As I said, auto FPS, I'll talk about that in a minute. Volumetric clouds, ultra medium for texture resolution we've got 16 times on the anoscopic filter waters medium we've got ray trace shadows and everything is pretty much on medium or high apart from the stuff that we're not going to use when flying big commercial jet airliners you can pause that and take screenshots if you may uh, these are my uh, online settings as well so I've set my uh, it's a max uh, with a rolling cache of 200 so it doesn't cause any trouble um, but that is pretty much everything uh, it's all to do with how you configure the system outside the sim I believe um, we'll jump into dev mode and I'll show you the FPS on the ground at JFK so welcome to JFK as you can see the frames aren't good at the moment let everything load in and you'll see I am using uh, two times frame gen on 50 uh, capped at 50 so it should be with the frame gen get about 80 to 90 frames uh, uh, 90 to 100 frames sorry um, I am using auto FPS uh, and my settings for that are uh, 
object level, level of detail max 150 and as you can see it's as smooth as butter and the terrain level of detail max 400 and that all changes at 1000 feet um, I do have my VRAM consumption at the bottom ticked uh, so it monitors that I also use a program uh, that's called Tech Pro GPU Z um, you can download it with auto FPS uh, don't worry about the flying we're just going to see how the frames behave but as you can see it's buttery smooth um, it feels really nice uh, to hand fly aircraft as well uh, so with my VRAM I've got that set so the GPU and CPU are optimized uh, during high performance on VRAM and as we rotate you see that was smooth and then we've got main threads which keeps buffering but you can't change that that's just with Microsoft Flight Simulator um, but I mean look at that look at that wing change there completely smooth there's JFK we're getting 90 FPS um, above 90 FPS 50 capped uh, with two times frame gen uh, we're in the Phoenix we've got live weather and the terrain level of detail is going to start coming up so you'll see the terrain look better in a second as well and auto FPS is an absolute lifesaver with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 it really does make the whole difference in my opinion it's such a good little program um, as you can see I mean, it looks really good the ground level of detail looks good and my settings that I've shown you today make sure that you get the most performance but also not hindering the sim and still looks as good as you'd like it to. Uh, the reason I upgraded my computer is first of all for your viewing experience and more for the flying experience for myself. Uh, I, I felt in 2020 and when I tried to fly 2024 uh, it wasn't a nice experience for myself and with the 5080 and the 9800 X3D it is a real game changer what you also need to do is go into the BIOS are on your boot up and enable XMP uh, or I forgot what it's called on the other stuff as well but you if you enable that it gives you more power also if you google how to turn your computer into full power mode um, to give it all the power I had to do that as well and since fiddling around with lots of stuff I had a continuous stutter that I got rid of and that was down to some settings that uh, I've turned down and the VRAM usage and now I can fly out of JFK in the Phoenix and it'd be as smooth as butter I mean look we've got beautiful Manhattan directly in front of us and it's at a solid it hasn't dropped below 45 FPS so we're getting 90 and above at all times with no stutters no noise cracking and this is in sim update 4 so there are my settings for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 uh, I've done extreme testing I've been on every single forum to try and figure out problems that I've been having and hopefully I fixed a few for you guys as well Another cause for stuttering in the sim and noise popping is traffic injection. One of my stutters was caused by FSLTL being injected when I didn't want it to um, and I stopped that by deleting it and reinstalling it. Um, that was causing quite a few stutters. Uh, apart from that, the sim is really stable actually, especially in sim update 4. You'll have to tune it to your own PC specs. Some people might have higher performance PCs, some might have less. It's all about tuning it to your PC. But hopefully today, with some of the things I've told you, you can get your sim to look and run as good as mine. If you've got any questions you want to ask in the comments below, please don't hesitate to pop them in. And I'll try my hardest to answer them and give you a good response uh, to try and help you fix any problems you're having. I know it's very frustrating when trying to configure a sim to run properly uh, and I think a lot of uh, new people are getting better PCs and there's still some problems that we need to iron out but as you can see it is possible and my sim runs very very well so if you did enjoy that video guys please don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe like I said if you need any help in the comments below please don't hesitate to ask for now I'll leave you and I'll see you again very soon in the next video